So, I originally made a season one review, but I turned out that was the wrong timing because there's more episodes. So, quick update. Season one and how it ended, I loved. I watched up to episode 10 and I'm like, oh, this is it. I don't know if I did. I think I did review up to then and I'm like, oh, this is the end of season one. If I didn't, I think I just dropped it. But I think I did. I might not. I might just be over like overthinking it. Uh, but uh, this is so good. Season one is a concept. It's just fun because it's like one of those series where it's like, on one hand, it's fun. It's upbeat. It's one of those shows. It's like you have the Molly McGee, and it's like be positive. And the idea of, like, what would Molly do being, like, what being more optimistic, being more, like, seeing the brighter things, I think, would be useful. And definitely, I love the word, and happifying. Oh, that's just, that, I just love that word. And happifying. I'm definitely not, I'm definitely going to use that and not sweet baby corn. I don't get what that means, to That's just weird to me. But and half of buying, I think it's just a fun word. But the way it ended in that sort of state, I thought it was interesting. I then even know it's just changing this, so this is probably probably just knows this. So I probably didn't change it. But season two, I think was even better, bringing in new story ideas, bringing in like a sort of like somewhat not antagonist. Well, I would say antagonist, not villain, but sort of like antagonist as in a sort of like barrier. That they sort of like redeem one after the other. And I thought it was really good. The one thing I've heard, and I am going to point out, supposedly there might have been like a season three, being like, maybe the season three would be like sort of like Ollie becomes the Chancelman. And through that, being sort of like having him be like losing his memories of him being alive for referencing sort of like the uh, finale if you know you know but the way that it is I don't think it needed that I really like that would have been a fun idea it would have legitimately been interesting I'm not gonna claim otherwise that would be a lot but I don't think it needed it I feel like the way it ended in a way of gravity folding it. All points were made. And yes, you didn't have the only thing and you don't know how they learn specific information. But I'm fine with them just being like, that's not common knowledge. And like, because like, they haven't used, because it was talking about race. And the two times they did use about it, it was no longer than like a day, I think the longest was, when you had season two and you had Molly Biggie's brother turn himself into a ghost. But overall, it was fun, it was creative, and overall, it was just a blast. I 100% recommend this show. And for one more reason, this is just on season one, season two completely. This is the only show that will fully just be like, fun, upbeat, positive, like imagine. But then we'll be like, one of the songs was like, we're up in the elbow in toxic mode. Wait, what? She's gigging. <laughs> And the other one I remember is um, The streets are gonna glow We use this old asbestos To make artificial shows <laughs> Those jokes Of like Having this like Nice fun I mean, <laughs> I mean like What And the joke The songs I like Because in one part it is a song, it is good, and it is catchy. But the other part, it has a sort of, like, jokey element to it. Like, it's not taking itself fully seriously. This is just a series that I absolutely recommend you to watch.